Uh, hello, uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we are going to show you guys how to configure PHP FPM in Mac 2023. You do not have to install PHP FPM. It's already there. You just need to configure it, guys. I repeat this. You just need to configure it. There's no need to install it. Okay, so I'm just going to show you how to configure it so that it works on your computer. Okay, so if maybe, for example, you want to use it for Inject server, you just need to configure it guys okay okay before we get into it uh, I just need to remind you guys to like and subscribe our videos uh, so that uh, you support us on our channel okay as we grow now the first thing that you need to make sure of is to make sure that you have installed PHP in your computer okay now if you, you are using brew you can just say brew We're using brew anyway uh, brew install PHP okay just like that i'm not going to show you guys how to install i'm not going to install it because it's already in my computer as you can see uh, php FP. so it's already running in my computer i'm not going to show you how to install it just install from uh, php as normal brew install php that's it okay once you're done installing then now we are going to configure php fpm to do that i'm going to show you guys a very good way to do that okay so just go into your your machine macintosh okay now in here you just need to do the shortcut this one command shift then period in your keyboard okay now just going to do command shift period this can show us the hidden folders and file okay now where the php is uh, located so i'm using the uh, if the chip uh, I'm using the chip, the Mac, this is M2. So for those who are using the Intel, uh, you just, it's a different, it's a different route. It's the user, uh, it's users, then local, then etc, then, uh, then PHP, and you follow the, the steps from there, from the etc, okay? So it's just straightforward. I repeat, for those who are using the Intel, not the chip, the Intel Macintosh, you just go to user, uh, usr user from the hidden files okay and then you go to local and then you're going to etc okay and then you go to php as as we then move along as i, I will show you here okay so for those who are using the chip mark uh, then you, it's opt then home preview then now you go to etc okay so from here it will be the same as those who are using the intel okay then php then the version okay so if we are going to there are people who are using a various version of php so i'm just using one so if you have various uh, version of php they're going to be shown here okay so i'm going to go to this folder and then you're gonna find php fpm config then there's php fpm.d this is the folder where you can find the ww config file okay now we go into this and then we find our www.config file here. So we're going to open it. Uh, you can use any editor that you want. For me here, I'm going to use Atom, the default editor. Okay. Now, the things that we need to look for in this, uh, in this file. Okay. The first thing is the user. The second thing is the group. And the third thing is the listen. Okay. Now, here we have the user is here okay so here you're going to put your username okay i just put mine there and here you're going to put maybe staff or something whatever kind of group it is so i prefer where people want to use the their their username that they use to log into a computer or something okay so you can use the username there, okay and also the listen the listen part we're going to do is the loopback IP address and then you put the port number here. So this is the port that you're going to put, maybe 9070. That's the port. Okay? You're going to put now this port is very important. This part is very important because you can use this port when you're configuring the Injix. Okay, Injix configuration because you're going to use this as uh, the root, uh, I mean the port for PHP FPM. Okay? It's very important. Okay? Now after you've done that, you save your file and close it. Okay, no further alterations there, just those. And then we're going to uh, to start services. 
So we're gonna say sudo brew services start. Sorry. Services start PHP now the version remember it's ported. Okay. Okay. So for me it's already started, so it's already started. Maybe I can restart it, but for you to restart and also you can restart it as well. Okay. So once you started, you need to see if your ports are running correctly. So to see that, we're going to do another command. I'm going to say sudo solve-i-n-capital-p dash 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 It's a caps one. Okay. Then you grab php dash fpm okay and hit enter okay you can see here it's listening to this post so our ports are validated and they're working and the process is running fine so that's how guys you uh you config your php fpm and then you can use those configuration in injects or something else Thank you guys for listening and don't forget to like and subscribe. See you later. Bye.